Okay, last one we're gonna look at tonight is going to differ a little bit on why the technique works. The last two had to do with their arms being too far forward in my guard. Whether they did that or we made them do that, that's sort of a rule of thumb that we can punish them for when they're off limits. Uh, this next one we're gonna look at has to do more with speed. So if we were to hit a typical arm bar from guard, we would be getting the arm drug, we got their posture, foot to the hip, turning, clearing, and hitting the arm bar. That's all well and good, and those ones work great if you do them with control and make sure that you're not missing a step. Um, one reason why that might get beaten by a better person or like stopped or stalled is because it is kind of telegraphed step by step by step by step. Even if you do that fast, you can kind of see it coming. This next one we're gonna go over, I call a tornado arm bar, which is gonna be faster than all of those because we're cutting out basically half of the middle steps, but in a way that we're making up for the lack of control with speed. So we end up at the same ending position faster than they realize that they even got put into it. Part of that has to do with um, not just not telegraphing, but making it so innocuous that it doesn't look like anything. So I like to grab a spider grip right here on the arm that I'm gonna attack. This from, for him feels like a grip, it doesn't feel like a threat, which is good for me. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dive my arm like the last one that we did, or the first one, underneath this leg so that my inner elbow comes to the back of his knee. But there's not gonna be any stop in my movement once I initiate this dive. This isn't step one, step two, this is all one movement. I'm gonna dive, break and twist my guard right here. Okay, that's all one move. So at this point, he's like 90% in an arm bar before he realized what happened. My leg now is gonna swing around the head, making sure I'm 90 degrees to him so my foot can pull down on the opposite side of his head. Not over his back, not put together, not up in the air, pulling down right here, and then hipping up for the finish right there. So this is why I call it a tornado arm bar. It just spins on real quick, okay? So we got our grip. Once I dive, I'm going, okay? This isn't a part of the move, this is like the move. As I dive, I break my guard and twist this 90 degrees that way. Here, look how deep I am on that arm. That's important, I'm not wrist deep, I'm inner elbow deep, so his knee's like by my shoulder. Swing this one around, catch the head, pull down, pinch the knees together, lift for a nice, easy, effective arm bar that you're gonna catch people with some speed. Okay, any questions on that?